scientists at University College London may have finally discovered the recipe for painlessness. People born with a rare genetic disorder, often referred to as congenital insensitivity to pain or congenital analgesia, are born completely unable to feel pain. Scientists have been studying these individuals for a long time. Discovering how it works and how to unlock this ability to be pain-free would be life-changing to the millions of people all over the world suffering from debilitating chronic pain. Researchers discovered that a certain nerve cell channel known as NAV 1.7 is particularly important for pain signaling and that people born without the function of this channel are born unable to feel pain. Certain drugs such as retraxagene have been developed that selectively block NAV 1.7 in humans and are currently undergoing clinical trials. However, though they have so far shown promise in reducing pain, the results have been largely disappointing compared to what many people hoped for. So obviously a key ingredient was still missing. Now scientists at UCL seem to have found that missing ingredient. Using mice that were genetically engineered to be insensitive to pain in the same way that humans with congenital analgesia are, they discovered that the mice and their human counterparts who are lacking NAV 1.7 also produce higher than normal levels of opioid peptides. To see if this was indeed the missing ingredient that they were looking for, the scientists gave an opioid blocking drug to the mice and found that they became able to feel pain. The scientists then tried the same thing with the woman who was born unable to feel pain and found that she too was able to feel pain for the first time in her life. Professor John Wood of UCL said, After a decade of rather disappointing drug trials, we now have confirmation that NAV 1.7 really is a key element in human pain. The secret ingredient turned out to be good old-fashioned opioid peptides. And we now have filed a patent for combining low-dose opioids with NAV 1.7 blockers. This should replicate the painlessness experienced by people with rare mutations, and we have already successfully tested this approach in unmodified mice. Opioid medications, most notably morphine, are uh, very effective at reducing pain. However, they often come with serious side effects. Uh, they carry the risk of dependence and tolerance after long-term use, meaning that the patient has to continue increasing the dose to get the same effect, until finally the medication stops working entirely. However, Professor Wood goes on to say, used in combination with NAV 1.7 blockers, the dose of opioid needed to prevent pain is very low. People with non-functioning NAV 1.7 produce low levels of opioids throughout their lives without developing tolerance or experiencing unpleasant side effects. We hope to see our approach tested in human trials by 2017, and we can start looking into drug combinations to help the millions of chronic pain patients around the world. So I think this is exciting news. What about you? Do you think that we finally found the holy grail of pain treatment? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and share. And if you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe for future videos. And together we can become a little smarter every day.